What are the seven things you should not do with your penis? Stay tuned to find out because you want to know all these things that you can have good penis health and function and better erection. What's number one? Number one is poor hygiene. What that means is that when you're washing your penis, make sure you pull back the foreskin and wash it with mild soap and water. And you want to wash the tip and the whole area. If you don't wash it carefully, you may have some buildup that's in there that may cause smegma that will become an infection later on. You don't want that there, okay? So take care of it like you're washing your face every day. Keep it clean and make sure that you pull back the foreskin and get all the crevices. Number two, all right, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this, but smoking. If you are smoking the nicotine or even vaping as well, it will affect blood flow. And getting an erection requires that you have good blood flow. So if you're smoking over a period of time, it's gonna affect your down below function. Just know that. And the next one, I'm gonna say like it is, is not exercising and being overweight. Because if you're overweight, that's compromised your blood flow. And when you need to get an erection, you need to have good blood flow. So if you're over a BMI of 30, then you need to be eating better like a Mediterranean diet or at least walk 30 minutes a day. That goes a long way because when your body is overweight, it's not gonna be able to get good blood flow below the belt. Number four is ignoring changes to your penis. So let's say if you have a bump, if you have a lump, you have a blister, or if you're urinating, there's blood that comes out, or there's a blood in your semen. Well, you gotta go see the doctor. It isn't gonna go away. It's a sign or symptom, something is going on. Don't ignore that because the earlier that you get treated, the easier and reversible the problem can be. If you wait for a long time, it may become irreversible. Number five is avoid penile fracture when you have an erection avoid any type of bending in the penis when you have an erection because that would damage the penis muscle the corpus cavernosa when it's filled with blood when that happened the penis will actually fracture fracture means a tear in the corpus cavernosa and that will require surgery you don't want to have that happen because when you require surgery, they're going to have to bring you to the OR. They're going to have to open up the foreskin and then do surgery. The corpus cavernosa that will also leave scar tissue. But then I will also leave residual problem with getting an erection later on. So do not bend the penis when it is erect, whether it's intentional or accidental. Number six is sleep deprivation. You want to be able to sleep at least seven hours a night or during the day as much as you can because when you're sleeping, your body heals physically and psychologically, but also it's a time where you can also make more testosterone as well too. When you make more testosterone, that will help with the erection. And the next one, number seven, this is something that I get on my husband's case all the time too, is that too much alcohol. And listen, I like a glass of wine too myself. My husband, he loves his bourbon as well, but too much of alcohol will actually affect your erection, particularly affect the blood flow as well as affecting the nerve. So how much is too much? Probably more than 14 drinks a week or two drinks a day. And this would correspond with what you notice with whiskey dick. It happens because you're not getting the blood flow down there and kind of numb the nerve functioning and also the nerve reflexes as well. So having said that, the seven things you should not do if you want to have a good erection or good penis health. But I must go back to the alcohol is that, yes, you can still drink some, but just try to moderate it. If you do more than 14 drinks a week, the next week, try to do less so that way you can kind of average it out. But the number one thing is really watching your weight. If you have to pick one thing that you should not do is watching your weight. 
because when you are overweight, it really makes the biggest impact of all as well. So to recap, seven things is number one is poor hygiene. Number two is a smoking. Number three is obesity. Number four is ignoring changes to your penis. Number five is do not bend the penis while it's erect, avoid a penile fracture. Number six is sleep deprivation. And number seven is too much alcohol. So having said this, I hope you find this helpful. And I would really appreciate it. It would mean the world different to me if you can like and comment and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what your thoughts are and what you would like to hear in the future. And just know that there are alternatives to ED. You don't have to get surgery or take ED medication. Check out my Modern Man Club. It's a safe and discreet place where I will help you regain sexual confidence again naturally without medication or surgery. Check it out, noedman.com. Having said that, I will see you in the next episode. Are you struggling and frustrating in finding a solution for ED? Well, I have just the thing for you. It's called the Modern Man Club, led by yours truly, Dr. Ann. Together, we're redefining male sexuality and embracing a holistic approach to overcoming ED without medication or surgery. I will provide a protective environment for a community and proven strategy to overcoming ED. It is a safe place, expert coaching by me and my team. We provide holistic approach to overcoming ED and an empowering community of men with ED supporting one another and lots and lots of educational resources. Visit mensexualityclub.com at the link here on my right and connect with us and reclaim control over your sexual health. I'll see you there. Thanks for listening to the Sexual Health for Men podcast. If you love this episode, then please take a screenshot on your phone and post it on Facebook, Instagram, or wherever you post. And be sure to tag me and let me know why you like this episode and what you like to hear in the future. That will help me know what's great for you, and I would love to give you the most incredible free gift designed to help you improve performance quickly. Go to my website at sexualhealthformenpodcast.com to get the book, The Five Common Costly Mistakes Men Make When Facing ED. I would appreciate it if you subscribe, leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen, and just know that you can have sexual vitality for life. I appreciate you. Until next time.